Welcome to day five of our virtual culinary tour of Scandinavia and the Baltics. Day five means that we are in Bergen. We arrived on the overnight ferry yesterday and today we actually have a free day. I'm going to make a fish soup today. Now the first thing that we're going to do is make our stock. Fish soup and any kind of soup really depends on the quality of the stock. So we are going to make a stock based on mussels. I have some beautiful blue mussels here. And the first thing we have to do is clean them. Now there's a couple of things to be aware of. For example, if you see a broken shell like this one, throw it out. That's a dead one, can't be eaten, not good. No bueno. Another thing that we want to do when we're cleaning our shells is to get rid of any beard. Now beard is this stuff here. It's like little plant things. This is where the seashell was fastened to the rock when it was picked. So we want to get rid of that because it's just not very nice to eat. Just use a small knife and just grab a hold of it with a small knife and just pull and you'll be able to clean your seashells in no time. All right, everyone, I have finished cleaning my seashells. These are the ones that I'm going to discard. Not too many. These are the ones that I'm keeping, as you can see, it's a big bowl. Now I'm going to rinse these very thoroughly in cold water and then I will show you what the next step is. Okay. The pan is hot now, I can feel it with my hand. So I'm going to add my mussels. And straight away add my white wine. Lid on and two minutes, I'm going to check it. And if it needs an extra minute after that, I will see, but you can tell after about two minutes whether the shells have opened up. If they have, then it's ready to go and you just remove it off the heat immediately. Okay, that only took two minutes. And you can see here now that the mussels have all opened up. And you can also see that liquid in the bottom. This is going to form my seafood stock, which I'm going to use to create the soup later on. But right now, what we're going to do is Remove all the mussels from the shells. Here you go. It's very easy. You can do it with your fingers as well. All it takes is just a little pull and it comes loose. All right, everyone, I have cleaned my mussels. This is what I am left with. Here we go. Now I'm going to put this in the fridge and leave it there until the soup is ready to serve. This will go into the soup literally seconds before serving. Here is the mussel stock that we created. This is what's left over from the white wine that we added to the pot with the mussels, as well as all the natural juices from the mussel that was released when they opened up in the steam that was created there. By the way, you can buy ready-made fish stock and use it for this soup. That's not a problem at all. In fact, that's the soup I was going to make. I had bought in the slightly fancy fish stock and I was going to use that and make the fast version of this. However, my brother is a massive soup snob, like massive soup snob. I told him my plans of cooking the easy version of this soup and he just gave me that look, you know, the one that you get from your brother every once in a while, like you are just ridiculous for even being alive. Yeah, he gave me that look and I was then afraid to put anything but the proper thing in front of him and his family. So that's why we're doing this the old fashioned hard way. All right, let's do this. I'm adding the water. Adding my stock. I'm adding my cream. I've used 900 milliliters of water with 300 milliliters of stock. And I just had a taste of it there now, and it seems like the flavors are nicely balanced. Now, obviously, there's going to be a little bit more flavor coming into the soup because we are adding our vegetables as soon as this warms up. Now, all of our liquids have been brought just about to the boil. So now I'm adding my carrots and my leek. I'm just going to cook this now for five or so minutes. Not much more than that. This is popcorn. Isn't he adorable? 
my brother's dog. He's a yappy little thing. You might hear him in the background sometimes of the videos. While we're out here, I just want to mention to you guys that if you're planning your vacation for next year, please consider Expat Explore. Expat Explorers does offer some fantastic tours all over the world. Some of my favorite ones are here in Europe, including the one that I'm showing you on this virtual culinary tour, best of Scandinavia and the Baltics. I am booked to be the tour leader for the departure that leaves on the 6th of June. So if you wanna come traveling with me, please book your trip. But if you do book a trip, whichever trip it is with expat, then I want to ask you a favor. Please make sure that you write referred by Inga in the comment field. And this is a good time to book as well because currently there are some fantastic sales on. So if you go and check out the Expat Explorer website, you can see the link here on the page, then I'm sure you'll find something that's worth your notice. Thank you so much for your support. Bye. This has been boiling away for a couple of minutes now and I'm about to add one ingredient that some of you might find a little bit strange. But this is the secret to a proper Bergen fish soup. And that secret is sugar. I'm going to add just two teaspoons. Once again, not terribly accurate with these measurements. That comes from experience. I've made this quite a lot. And now we're going to start to add the cornstarch to thicken up the soup. I'm going to add about one third at a time. Go, and then you give it a stir. It will thicken almost immediately as much as, as it's going to thicken. So you just want to give it a stir. See if you like the consistency. If it needs to be a little bit thicker, which it does, then you add a bit more. Right. I'm going to add a bit more now. There and it needs a little bit more, so I'm going to use the last of my cornstarch. And my nephew just came in. I think they're getting hungry. Starting to look really nice now. And now I'm going to add a little bit of lemon. Just a squeeze. It adds a little bit of freshness, a little bit of acidity to it. All right, time to taste. See. Let's taste. Mmm. Mmm. Oh yeah. I've added the fish and I'm just going to leave it for literally one minute just to cook through, but just cook through. Don't leave it in too long. It's actually better to have it's actually better to have undercooked fish than overcooked fish, certainly if you're using fresh fish. <laughs> I have my freshly peeled prawns and the mussels that we cooked earlier ready to go into the soup, but only once it goes into the bowl, that's when I'm going to add it. I don't want to cook it in any way. Now I'm looking at the fish here now and it's starting. Yeah, it is ready. So we're ready to plate up. And here we go. This is the finished product. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. 